can see, I'm not in Paint Shop Pro. Instead, I'm taking a look at the Silhouette Studio Design software, which has just given us an upgrade to version 4. If and when you do the upgrade, this will be your new design space. And it is quite a bit different from version 3. First of all, the border on the right hand side, the sidebar for want of a better word, with our familiar tools in, is now replaced by this panel and more about that in a moment. Across the top you've got four coloured strips for design, store, library and also the new send to silhouette area. The first thing you'll notice, apart from the panel being a bit different, are the size of the icons. They're a little bit tiny. And if your eyesight's perhaps not brilliant or your hand control isn't brilliant, you might find them a little fiddly. I discovered by accident that you can change the size of them. You want to go to Edit and Preferences. And under the Computer Display, you can also change your theme if you want to. I haven't bothered, I like grey. Button size. I saw the slider, but it didn't immediately register with me that button meant icon. Um, and so I thought, well, I'll just see what this does. So if you move your slider up, you can have as big or as little as you like there. I like this one and click apply. There you go. Now you've got bigger icons on either side and across the top. Let's click OK to come out of that for the moment. Across the top, just underneath the main menu, you do have the fill area. This will be your fill colour. That's your line. Here's your line style. And also the width. I missed those the first time around. I thought they were a bit small. The other big change is panels, and when you first open version 4, it will always open with this one, Page Setup. It will always be docked at this right-hand corner. In fact, it's almost like it's magnetised, because you can move these panels. That is one good thing. I really like this idea, by grabbing it on its little grey top border. And when it gets anywhere near that corner, it's like it's magnetised, it will snap right into there. I should mention that this happens when it's in single panel mode, which I think will be its default setting. I can't remember what it was because I've changed it so often. But single panel mode, it snaps to that corner, but it does allow you to pull it around and move it. However, once you open one of the other panels, so for instance, this one is the fill panel, it will immediately replace the page setup panel and snap to the right hand side and open your fill panel. You've also got the advanced options below. So every time you open a new panel, it replaces the one that is already there. So that's the single panel mode. I know when I've been working in Silhouette, I've often moved between the Replicate window, the Move window, and wish that I could have them both open at the same time without having to keep clicking a different area. And that is one thing that these new panels give us the ability to do. There are actually three different settings. They're under Preferences, Edit Preferences, in this area called Defaults, and it's here, Panel Mode. There's Flexible and Multiple. You might wonder what the difference is, so let's go for Flexible first. Flexible means if I move this away from that corner, and open a new panel, I can have two of them open together. If I then move that one, 
I can have three open. If I don't move it from this corner, if I open a panel, it will replace it. So in flexible panel mode, you do have to move it away from the corner to be able to open a different panel. Otherwise, it will just do what it did in single panel mode. It will replace the one that's there. You can also move them. Let's move this right over here. Let's put replicate and transform over here. And as soon as they get close together, again, it's like they're magnetized, they'll join together. And you get an extra grey bar at the top and you can move them as a group. You can close them as a group too with this double arrow on the left and open. And of course you can do the same with the single arrows to open and close each panel individually. To close any panel you can use the X here but you can also do it with the icon over there. Let's open it again and put it back. And let's join this one to that. They will also dock together, but they dock in a certain way, I think. There we go, you see? Magnets again. And now I can move all four together. So that's the flexible panel mode. But again, if it's up in this right hand corner, but oh, it doesn't actually replace it when you've joined them together. You know how it was, if I leave that page set up there now and open one of these others, it replaces page set up. It doesn't if this is here instead. So if I, that no longer snaps to that corner. And so therefore, whenever I open one of these, it stays separate. So that's the flexible. Let's have a look at the final option for panels, multiple panel mode. It isn't that much different apart from, remember when it locks into this right hand corner every other time if we leave it there and we've opened one it's replaced it. With flexible it doesn't, it simply adds it. And the more that you open the more columns it adds and it just keeps going across and filling up the space. I'm just looking for some of the other panels. Oh, let's have offset, there we go. But of course that's going to take up an awful lot of your screen and you're not going to be able to see much of what you're doing, which is why it's so handy to be able to pull them apart and dock them. together and move them individually. It is a bit fiddly. You might not like it at first, but I actually think it might be quite useful. Let's close offset and let's close modify, but let's open, let's transform, there it is. Let's move transform over here. And add it to replicate and I'll keep fill open but I'll close that. So, so let's say um, let's draw a quick shape I'll just do a quick square here and now I can just go over here I can fill it with orange I can copy and paste. I can decide I want to rotate that one. I don't want to do 90, do I? OK, 
Can we do it free? Rotate. Oh, there we go. I can change the colour without having to go to a different window. And if I want to, I can even make a row of four. And I haven't had to come over here and open different windows. I've been able to do it all within the screen. And I think that's actually quite good. I quite like that. It will take a bit of getting used to, but I think it could be quite useful. The only downside, and I was a little bit disappointed by this, yesterday when I first used this version, I spent a while setting up my little panels and putting them in little... Um, what would you call them, collections of how I thought I would use them and what would be useful. And I thought, oh, that's great. I I'm really pleased with that. And then when I opened the programme this morning, they'd all gone. It doesn't save the setting that you use with your panels. Every time you close the programme, it will open with only the page setup panel showing and I'm really sorry about that. I think it would have been great if we, if next time I opened the silhouette program my panels were aligned like this, the ones that I used the most. But well can't have everything so never mind. Let me just get rid of these yellow squares. Now let's talk about something that I spent ages trying to find, point editing. I did it my usual way. I clicked on my shape and then I picked the edit points. And I'm so busy looking over to the right here for a panel that will give me, remember the little list, break, port, break path, make smooth, and I'm looking everywhere and I can't see it. And I'm hovering over it and seeing if it'll put, no, it's, it's, it's not there, I can't see it. Is it under modify? No, that's not it. And I'm so busy looking over there. And I bet by now you're already pointing up at the screen and going, Jane, Jane, it's up there. Jane, it's up there, on the left. Jane, it's under the menu. And indeed it is. It's here. But I don't like it there. And they're greyed out and they're not telling me what they do. But in the meantime, not only had I been looking down on the icons, I'd also been looking, I'm, I'm looking down here, I'm looking down, no, 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 I can't see edit points. And so I come out and I just click anywhere and I think, well, what am I going to do? So I go back to click on my square and accidentally I do a really fast double click. And look what I get. The point editing with the familiar menu, delete point, break path, corner, smooth, make flat. I cannot tell you how happy I was to see that. So although this is a panel that isn't specifically listed, double click your shape. Don't go into the edit points there, just double click it really fast and you'll get the point editing panel. I can't tell you. I was really happy about that. That's all I'm going to show you for today. I suppose I should say that that's probably because that's all I know at the moment. I'm not going to talk about the send window, which I really haven't got the hang of, but I'm not too worried because I don't actually use this main machine for powering the actual silhouette cutter. I use a different one, and I could cheat and leave that on version 3, but shh, don't tell anybody. For now, I'm going to leave it there. If you have any questions that you think I might be able to answer, because I do like solving knotty problems, then do leave a comment below, and I shall do my best. But for now, and until next time, take care.